Okay, I think now you can you can tell me this. If I ask you if you have decrease, oh sorry, if you have decreased beta chain, if you have decreased beta chains in the blood, what left? You will have several or a lot of alpha chains. This is alpha chains will make inclusions inside what? Inside inside the red blood cell okay this is red blood cells this is alpha include alpha chain inclusion red blood cells will go to spleen undergo of phagocytosis by splenic macrophages and what is the result of this process will be severe hemolytic anemia okay if the alpha chain in occlusion red blood cells in bone marrow will undergo apoptosis and will lead and this is the process of red blood cells with inclusion bodies if it is in the bone marrow these kind of red blood cells in the bone marrow will undergo apoptosis this we call this process as ineffective erythropoiesis let's continue this as a result here you will not have you will not have red blood cells and here you will have here here so no red blood cells and here increase red blood cell destruction do you remember if you have one or two of these two conditions what you usually leads to here you have increased destruction and then you don't have more red blood cells in the body that's mean you need you need a lot of erythropoiesis or several red, or more 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 red blood cells synth synthesized to the blood so how can i synthesize red blood cells if in the bone marrow undergo apoptosis and if in the spleen undergo um, severe hemolysis by destructions so i need another organ to synthesize and then here i need another organ to synthesize red blood cells this organ usually liver could be spleen so we call this process uh, as extramedullary hemato hematopoiesis okay poiesis and why you have this process? If you will see large hepatosplenomegaly in, in this patient, that means the liver and the spleen take, take the rule of the bone marrow to synthesize red blood cells. Why? Because either you have a bone marrow problem, which is here as in this case, red blood cells undergo apoptosis in bone marrow, so ineffective retropoiesis, or you have severe destruction problem another problem here in bone marrow could be myelofibrosis or other kind of bone marrow problem any any problem in bone marrow could lead to another organ take the rule to synthesize this in your red blood cells and in this case this is the case usually of severe beta and uh, severe beta thalassemia okay Okay, let's make some discussion about hemoglobin alkytrophoresis. If you have 2 alpha, 2 beta, 2 alpha, 2 gamma, 2 alpha, 2 delta. Okay. We will call 2 alpha, 2 beta as hemoglobin A, 2 alpha, 2 gamma, hemoglobin F, 2 alpha, 2 delta to delta hemoglobin A2 okay you will have three 
three features about hemoglobin ketoforesis. Now let's take this. This is hemoglobin A2, this is hemoglobin F, and this, which is the big one, hemoglobin A. It's around 97%, it's around 1% hemoglobin F, and 2% hemoglobin A2. This means one of the following. Okay. The next step for this normal hemoglobin electrophoresis is blood flow. Okay, if you will see in the blood flow, normal, I mean no abnormal cells, that means it is really normal. In the blood flow, if you will see microcytic anemia, that means alpha thalassemia trait. Okay.